What's up, guys? This is Tommy Urban D. Colonin down from Crossover Church in Tampa, Florida. Crossover is a multi-ethnic, multi-generational, economically diverse church. And so when people come here and visit us, one of the things that they notice quickly is, wow, this church is so diverse. And they notice that we don't even have an ethnic majority. We're just a big melting pot. A little bit of everything reflects our community. Uh, the second thing they notice that they say is, wow, I've never seen so many young people in the church before. And they're engaged and they're into it. How do you guys attract so many young people? So that's what I want to talk about today for these couple minutes that we have in Leaders in the Nines. We're talking about reaching millennials. And that's been something that uh, we've been blessed at Crossover to, to be very good at. Uh, the first thing I'll say is you want to be genuine, you want to be yourself, you want to be real. Uh, but that in and of itself doesn't mean you're going to attract millennials. So the two big things I want to quickly talk about is first off, you want to think about what does your service look like and what does it sound like? So what is your music and what is your style? Now think about it, everything from A to Z. When people walk in, what kind of music is being played? What does your worship sound like? Uh, what are the announcements like? What's the language used? What's the background music that you play? Uh, if you guys create videos, what's the music that you put in your videos in the background for the bed? Uh, your message, what's the language? What's the illustration? What's the style? Your lighting in your building, what does your stage look like? All those things uh, are very important to millennials. They look at those things. They observe those things. If it's something that they can connect with, um, that they feel at home, they feel comfortable. At Crossover Church, we're really intentional with those things, but at the same time, it's organic. It's indigenous. It's, it's really who we are. And so when people walk in, we actually have a DJ live on the platform spinning some music as they're walking in. And so for a lot of people, that's like, oh, wow, y'all got a DJ? And so what are they spinning? They're spinning anything from hip-hop to R&B to reggae to worship to black gospel a little bit of everything a big eclectic mix but all of it is christ-centered music so we're not playing like mainstream stuff that you hear on the radio it's christ-centered stuff as they're walking into church our worship looks the same way we might start with a lecrae cover we might do a hill song song that's remixed with a reggae style we might do a black gospel song we might even do some latin we might do a ballad there might be some spoken word mixed in um, a rapper might spit a 16 uh, bar verse in one of the songs. So it's very eclectic. Um, the message, the language that we use is relevant. It's, it's today, it's conversational, it's passionate, it's engaging. We use film, we use dance, we use uh, and not just one kind of dance, anything from break dancing to choreography to interpretive dance. All those things create this environment that millennials connect with. And millennials are doing the art as well. Second big thing that you, you want to look at as well, are you engaging your community? Millennials love to see the community engaged. And so at Crossover, we do a lot of outreach stuff from giving away backpacks and school supplies to adopting our local elementary school to giving out thousands of pounds of food and clothes, uh, toys at Christmas, our small groups, we call them roots groups. We do community service projects. My group that I was in recently went to the laundromat. We paid for everybody's laundry. I mean, our team just loved it. And we had several families that are now part of the church because we loved on them and we just pay for their laundry. Um, but it can't just be a handout. It's got to be a hand up as well. In our church, we have a ministry called Thrive Tampa, where we help people with job training, uh, with financial empowerment, with resume building, with just giving them a dream for their life plan. It's so important to empower people. Uh, I have a book that recently came out called Rebuild. I talk more in detail about that. Because millennials, they want to be part of a rebuilding movement. They want to see people re being rebuilt as they're rebuilt themselves. So, hey, I'm Tommy Colonin, also known as Urban D. If you guys are ever visiting Florida down here on vacation, come and hang out with us at Crossover Church. Until then, peace. May God bless your ministry.